Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm working from home today. I'm currently making my breakfast. I'm actually just picking out all the jalapenos in the Costco cheddar bagel, jalapeno cheddar bagels, because I absolutely love them, but at the same time, they're way too spicy for me. So I just pick them out. And I think I got everything with this one. Oh no, there's a good one. There. Anyway, I am working from home. Just uh, figured I would vlog today. Also gonna put on my hot water bottle. Why am I so zoomed in? Give us a little bit of space. What time is it? It's about 8.40. I have my laptop out on the dining room table. It's been fed and he's gone outside. A trick if you can't open anything is to have a bunch of these like cut up. They're like drawer stickies. Like you put them in your drawer so things don't slide around in. Anyway, I use them to open jars, things that I can't get. But yeah, I, they were a lifesaver when I was living by myself because Brendan was not here to open any of my sauce jars or pickles or anything like that. So these were my knight in shining armor. Oh, so I've got my coffee. So on the agenda today, besides working, is after work, I want to down our autumn decorations. Today's November 2nd, so I want to do that. I have a couple... Instagram things I want to shoot that are kind of Christmassy related. I can show you while we're waiting for my bagel to go. Oh, what's that? <laughs> so this is the company, Popsa. Basically, it's just like a photo album or a scrapbook of your iPhone photo. And I kind of liked it, like it was so easy to lay out. I just did it all from my phone and just, but I just did one of Brendan and I, so that's why it says B and E. So yeah, so I just kind of did just photos of us. So there's us at the cottage. These are technically film photos, but they were on my phone, so did that. More of the cottage, like over the years and things like that. That's our dog. This was actually this October. This is us in Cape Breton, Jasper, Point Pelee. That was such a fun weekend. The Bahamas. Then we did Diddly Squat Farm, which is Jeremy Clarkson's farm, which was so fun. Highly recommend going. Uh, when we went to Scotland. And then some photos from like Denmark and London. I'm gonna cover up his address, but this was Brendan's house in Windsor. Cover up our address, but this is our house here. So that was when we first moved in. That's what it looked like. I didn't, I wanted to switch these pages around, but that those are some little little bits and bobs that we've made at our home. That's it at Christmas, it was really fun. And just some fun couple photos. I'm working with them over on Instagram, so I'm gonna shoot that photo. That was where the whole sidetrack thing went of that. So that needs to get done today, because that's going up, I think, next week. But anyway, the main idea today is just to work and then take down my autumn decorations. I won't put up my Christmas decorations. I want to, but I won't. We are painting, well, I'm painting this, like the great room this weekend. So I didn't want to make it cluttered with Christmas stuff. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll make it Christmassy. And then we can finally get rid of these paint samples that have been on my wall. Well, I put them on the wall because I thought I would get it done a lot sooner and I haven't. <laughs> so, so that's my bad, but I'm also very excited to just prime it and then paint. I think we're doing the same color we did in our bedroom of like the grayish white. So that's what we're gonna do. But speaking of Christmas, I went to William Ashley Warehouse Sale, which I do every year. This is their last in-person sale. And we went last Thursday, I think it was. I love that sale so much. So I have a haul that I can show you guys uh, later on today, maybe on my lunch break. I'm gonna go eat, work, and I will chat with you guys. Just living his best life, eating a stick. Look at him. My god. He's so funny.
all of our autumn stuff is now downstairs in the basement. It's great. Also, look at the lighting. I'm never really here during this time of the day, but look at that. It's so bright and cozy. Great. Oh yeah, we we got a new dishwasher. We need a new fridge. Went to go look for one and came out with a new dishwasher. So we have that. We got that on Saturday last weekend. Brendan fixed the plumbing in the kitchen sink, but then went to go put in the new dishwasher and all of the pipes and stuff that is needed for that doesn't fit. It's this dishwasher. So Brennan's gone to Home Depot and all this stuff. He was soldering last night. So this is what he did. Which looks pretty good. So that'll be good. But anyway, I miss having a dishwasher because I now have to do all my dishes. And I also was lazy and didn't have lunch because I didn't want to do dishes. The dog is outside right now. I'm hoping he's actually going to the bathroom. I uh, know he's not. He's literally, he jumps up. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. Can you see him? He's like standing up. Anyway, he's pulling down on the neighbor's tree. Oh no, that's our tree but it leans over to the neighbor's fence, which we need to take down anyway, because I don't think our neighbor appreci appreciates it. Anyway, he keeps attacking it. What a little poo. He comes back in and has to realize that I'm putting him in his crate. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Gap because I have to make a return. I bought my sister kind of the same sweater. This is from the Gap, but it's the girls category. She's turning 30. I don't know. If you would know my sister, I posted a lot about her in the past, but uh, her name is Beth. She has special needs. She's my older sister and she's turning 30 and she's obsessed with Disney, obsessed with the color pink. Basically her, her um, syndrome is, is like physically and mentally capped at a certain age and that's probably around four or five, maybe four, closer to four. But yeah, so she's basically just, just a kid and I love her. So she wants clothes, so I went to Joe Fresh and I got her a really nice like corduroy button up uh, shirt and some jeans. And then I got her a cable knit, I guess I can show you, a cable knit pink sweater. But the only thing is, is that it's cropped and it won't fit her. So long story short, I need to go return it. I'm gonna whip over there and then in the same plaza, there's a winner's. So I'm gonna go across the street. Kinda wanna look in there and see what I can find. Maybe peek and peruse around the Christmas section. But I'm gonna film a TikTok of me going around winners. So I'll leave the camera here to charge so that I can continue filming later tonight. If you're interested, you can go check out my haul there. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna run off to now. I don't think I need anything else or need to go anywhere else. Just gonna make those two stops and then I'll be back. Rally up the dog. It's a process to get him in his crate, so. I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, it is much later in the evening. Um, it's about 8.30, I wanna say. Let me turn this on. I'm so tired, oh my gosh. Also, this lighting is not it for me. I'm just, you know when you're tired and like your face is red? That's me right now. On exciting news, I got a sale on my online thrift store. That is good to go. I've made a little note. So I'm gonna put that here and then I'm gonna go through my PR bin and pick out a little extra something to give to her. I'll give her, sure I can give her that. And then maybe I'll give her these guys. Make it big, primer. Well, these are Morphe things. Sure, okay. So I'll give her two mascaras and then this peptide cream. Sure. She's all ready to go. Only thing is I need to find a bag to put this all in. So maybe I'll make that a tomorrow problem. So because I was sharing me on decorating from autumn. I wanted to show you my William Ashley haul because I did mention that earlier today and this has been sitting in these bags for the past week. First off is this gravy bow, which I'm so excited. I saw this at home since last year and I didn't grab it and I was like, I kind of want it. And then I saw it and I was like, okay, this is a sign. I have to buy it. So I did. And then if you were to watch my winner's shop with me today, you would see that I bought the matching um, cup and coaster. I do want to go and find the plates with it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, this is like pure adulting. The fact that I'm getting excited over a freaking gravy boat. Oh, that is just perfect. 
How perfect is that? I got some more beer glasses, which I just use for water glasses because I like the little lip on it. These were $9 for four. Anyway, you can kind of see what they look like there. Some chip clips, mostly for the refrigerator. Wait, oh, are these not magnetic? Oh no, they are. Okay, good, I can put them on the fridge. But a nice Christmas ornament. Look at these guys. They look like little woodstocks from Charlie Brown. Like. They're just so cute, so I think I will put those up tonight. I love them so much. They're so cute. Look at the little bum. Then I grab some tissue paper for wrapping. I always grab these because they're $2 and they're just, they're pretty good. I think you can get them at the dollar store to be honest, but they're pretty good. Got another Christmas ornament, serving spoon, a pie cutter. Anyway, that's my little haul, my little William Ashley haul. Um, this totaled $108, so the gravy boat was the most expensive that was 32.99 but i justified it because i wanted it last year and i didn't buy it so that's why i wanted it but everything else was under ten dollars i'm getting ready for bed now because i'm just exhausted i just my face i need to put like a cooling thing my hands are cold so it's kind of nice Thank you so much for watching if you watched this long i hope you guys enjoyed hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i will hope to see you all in my next video bye